It's a nice, cool, rainy morning here in eastern Kansas, and uh, it's a great day for a project. So over here, I've got this old Montgomery Ward um, Signature Deluxe Freezer. And for a while, I've wanted to have some kind of a uh, storage system for paint and uh, various liquids or, you know, flammable things. And I think this would be a great cabinet for that. There isn't any Freon left in it, and it doesn't even turn on anymore. Matter of fact, the compressor back here is burned out, and it doesn't click over. So here's the power cord to it. Now the light inside does still work, so when I get it all prepared, I'll plug it in and keep using that. Now, what I'm going to have to do probably is remove the radiators here on the bottom of the shelves. And then, of course, I'd like to remove all this stuff back here, too. We're going to start by removing this radiator at the back here. Take these screws out. I believe there's six of them. Get the uh, lines removed at the back. Get the compressor taken out, which it's already loose here. The locks have been removed. And then we'll get to work on the inside. So go ahead and sever these lines down here. A few little things here that I'm going to cut and tie off. The first being the, um, the power connector that goes to the compressor, or what was the compressor. Since all I really need is uh, this cord here for the light on the inside. Wrapping a little bit of electrical tape around this loose end right here. Just because when that cord is plugged in, there is still electricity coming through here. I think I'll cut these lines out in sections and I'll have to take this top cover off to get to these lines up here. Of course, I've had to switch from using a drill to just a regular old ratcheting socket. So obviously the drill won't fit back in here.
a heck of a lot of line. 